In this video we are going to talk about the top 10 prohibited areas you are not allowed to visit. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Around the globe, there are many breathtaking locations to explore. But certain places are either too risky, too secure, or too enigmatic to explore. There are many places in the world that are off-limits to outsiders, from man-made structures to natural ecosystems that contain lethal creatures, religious mysteries, and secrets. Number 10. Fort Knox, Kentucky. The distance from Louisville to one of America's best-kept secrets is about 48 kilometers 30 miles. We think there are gold bricks packed inside Fort Knox, better known as the United States Bullion Depository. Few people have been to the Gold Fortress, therefore many questions about its location remain unanswered. Fort Knox, which is located on a 109,000-acre U.S. Army complex, was finished in 1936. At the time, gold was transported on trains with machine gunners. After that, the cargo was loaded into army trucks that were being protected by a brigade of U.S. cavalry. To be clear, Fort Knox is not far from the U.S. Bullion Depository, the U.S. Army installation. However, Fort Knox is a common nickname for the Gold Vault Complex. There, the Bill of Rights and the U.S. Constitution were both momentarily preserved. The U.S. Bullion Depository is said to have 4,582 metric tons of gold worth more than $175 billion in its possession. The building has one of the most advanced security systems on the market. As a result of the general secrecy surrounding what occurs there, the phrase as safe as Fort Knox was coined. Number 9. Chapel of the Ark of the Covenant Ethiopia. One of the most prized artifacts from the Bible is the Ark of the Covenant. The famous building was built over 3,000 years ago to store the stone tablets containing the Ten Commandments. The Ark disappeared from history after the Israelites were conquered by the Babylonian Empire. Nobody is certain if it was stolen, destroyed, or hidden. According to Ethiopian folklore, the Ark of the Covenant was stored in Aksum St. Mary of Zion Cathedral, also known as the Chapel of the Ark. The only person the church permits to see the Ark is a monk who acts as the Ark's guardian. No one else is permitted to enter the chapel to see the artifact, making it a confined space that you wish you could visit even though some accounts claim the Aksum relic is just a replica of the Ark. Number 8. Tomb of Qin Shi Huang. The country's first emperor has been interred for more than two millennia in the central Chinese hills. When several farmers were digging wells in 1974, they stumbled into the Qin Shi Huang's secret tomb. Unaware that it was one of hundreds of historical items at the location, they dug up a life-size terracotta soldier. Archaeologists have been investigating the location for for 40 years and have found some 2,000 clay soldiers there. Scientists have not yet entered the main tomb, which contains Qin Shi Huang's remains. Many people think the tomb is full of rare stones and other things. Only Chinese officials are allowed in the area, and it is up to them to decide if anyone is allowed to get close to the mysterious tomb. Number 7. North Sentinel Island. There are still indigenous groups that remain uncontacted or without contact with contemporary society, despite the fact that this may be difficult to accept. One of the remaining uncontacted tribes on the earth is the Sentinelese inhabitants of North Sentinel Island. In 1991, a diplomatic team from India floated coconuts toward the Sentinelese island, which is renowned for being hostile to outsiders. On two of these flights, a contact was made with an Indian crew. The odd coconuts piqued the Sentinelese curiosity, but they were apprehensive of the strangers. There are between 80 and 150 persons on the island who speak a language that no one else can comprehend. Due to the fact that so little is known about the tribe, it is cloaked in mystery. However, we are aware that they dislike company. In 2018, a U.S. missionary who was trying to reach the Sentinelese people was killed with a bow and arrow. The group has made it clear for years that they don't want to make new friends. Number 6. Surtsey, Iceland. Off the southern coast of Iceland is the volcanic island of Surtsey. One of the newest islands in the globe, Surtur was named after the Norse fire deity. In 1963, it exploded violently in the Atlantic Ocean. Ash columns of about 9,200 meters were sent into the air, 30,000 feet. 
After the eruption, the island's volcanic core continued to grow for almost four years, reaching heights of about 152 meters 500 feet. A lengthy biological research project that examines the process of plant and animal life colonizing new land is currently based on the island. In 1965, it was classified as a wildlife reserve, and in 2008, UNESCO named it a World Heritage Site. Surtsey is off-limits to the general public, and the few researchers who work there are the only ones with access. Number 5. Svalbard Global Seed Vault. Halfway between Norway and the North Pole is where the Svalbard Global Seed Vault is situated. It is situated on an isolated Svalbard island deep beneath a mountain. It is the largest seed repository in the world, housing boxes of seeds for long-term storage in cold, dry rock vaults. Around 4,000 different plant species and tens of thousands of different varieties of vital food crops are kept in the vault. It is a facility for long-term seed storage that is built to withstand both natural and man-made disasters. The goal of the vault is to preserve duplicate seeds from every crop collection in existence. Like it. If crops were destroyed by nuclear war or global warming, nations might go for seeds in the seed bank to restart their agricultural operations. Number 4. The Red Zone France. There are other types of scenery in France besides lush green hills and charming villages. There is one particular abandoned area that has been off-limits for almost a century. In the vicinity of Verdun, France, there is a pristine forest known as the Zone Rouge, aka the Red Zone. It is entirely forbidden to enter, there are no inhabitants, and no structures have been built there. Prior to World War I, Verdun was primarily farmland. The area quickly changed during the conflict as millions of artillery projectiles were launched. The towns were destroyed with explosives, the dirt was churned, and the trees were broken. In 1918, the war came to an end, and the villages suffered as a result. Number 3. Snake Island. The island of Ilha de Queimada Grande, also referred to as Snake Island, is situated 150 kilometers, 93 miles, south of Sao Paulo city center. The island, which lies around 40 kilometers, 25 miles, off the coast of Brazil, is off-limits to humans. The numerous snakes that may be seen on Snake Island gave the island its name. Researchers estimate that there are 0.09 venomous snakes per square meter, one foot, on the island. The island is home to the Golden Lance Head, a rare variety of pit viper that's regarded as one of the deadliest snakes in the entire world. The island is considered to be home to between 2,000 and 4,000 of these poisonous snakes, which can grow to be over 0.5 meters, 1.5 feet, long. Number 2. Murney Diamond Mine. One of the largest man-made holes in the world is found at Mir Mine, aka Murney Diamond Mine. The enormous pit, which is situated in eastern Siberia, is the second largest man-made hole in the entire planet. Since its discovery in 1955, the diamond-rich deposit has expanded to a depth of more than 520 meters 1,700 feet, and a width of more than 1,200 meters 3,900 feet. Joseph Stalin commanded the mine's expansion in order to satisfy the Soviet Union's demand for diamonds. During its prime, the mine produced more than 10 million carats of diamonds annually. Despite the fact that open pit mining was stopped in 2001, underground mining is still going on there. The airspace above the mine has been blocked off to helicopters following reports of aircraft getting pulled in by downward airflow. However, none of those claims have ever been validated. You cannot enter the settlement from the outside, so don't expect to see this gem in the rough. Number 1. Bohemian Grove. In Monte Rio, California, a group of incredibly powerful and wealthy men gather every July for two weeks of secret meetings, drinking, and who knows what else at a 2,700-acre encampment. The exclusive campground that is owned by the Bohemian Society, a gentleman's club, is known as Bohemian Grove. There are rumors that the only ways to get into the Bohemian Club are through invitations from members or by signing up for a lengthy waiting list. There are annual dues as well as a $25,000 initiation fee. Over 2,500 people have already joined, and many of them have flocked to the campground, which has 118 campsites, an artificial lake, and a soaring owl shrine. Former and current members of the exclusive club include Ronald Reagan, George W. Bush, Clint Eastwood, Bing Crosby, Merv Griffin, and Gerald Ford. 
What do you think about our video? Let us know in the comment box below. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Thank you.